Hi there, I'm Alex Burke, and I'm joined by Adra Hill from uh, from Ireland for the occasion. Say hi, Adrian. Hello there. I cut you off there just to so I get my H's in. So. <laughs> from Ireland? <laughs> from I'm... Ireland. Well, you, you're playing Ireland. I know you're from Ireland. I'll book my flight. This... I'll book my flight. There's this there. tiny, tiny city on the Thames there. Uh, Where? It says London. Is that Yeah, correct? No, no one's ever heard of it. No. It's not remember. I can. This is. I live in the. Li, 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 I'm pointing at where I live right now, but, ish. <laughs> oh god, I'm doxing myself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Life literally over. You've done it now. Yeah. And then I get all kinds okay, of so stuff. we had a very exciting episode. The first so episode. So exciting. And, um, yeah, we haven't checked the comment section for that yet because it's it hasn't been published yet. So if anybody came up with a really good name for this series then uh, seen it. <laughs> apologize in advance for that it's alex's fault mainly yeah it's just blame the norwegian that's typical that's pretty much the, it's been a plan of europe for a while now <laughs> blame norway i didn't even know you were in the eu man i just didn't even know that <sighs> we we had we've had two referendums and both times we've said no to the eu wow that's weird Last time was in 94. That was the first time I was old enough to vote. What do you... Like, oh, man, that's weird. You're just, like, sitting there, being Norwegian. And the rest of Europe... Pumping oil. Oh, that's true. You have a little oil. oil, don't you? Yeah, a little bit. And there's no oil in the game, though, for Hearts of Iron, though, apparently. No, there, there wasn't any oil at that time. We didn't discover it until the 60s. Really? Wow. You guys suck. It's in the middle of the fucking Atlantic. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Well, then there'd be, like... <laughs> Alright, fine. It's offshore. You don't it's, have any oil in your mountains? No, we have thorium in our mountains, that's it. Oh yeah, thorium! Everyone needs for their <laughs> yeah. growing breakfast. Okay, so it's 26th of July. Oh wait, it's actually unpaused, I didn't even realize. I, I unpaused it once we started. Oh wow. It's a little... <laughs> Alright, fine. So... <laughs> okay then. Might have had great plans. You know it. Okay, I have I've a got... multicultural state. Oh no, no, I'm I've gonna got immigration old... reforms and zinc oh, mining. Um... Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, that's a really large event. I'm sorry. This one's sec. The Daily have argued for the expansion of Ireland's immigration policies. Um... Social unrest if a large influx of migrants have arrive. Okay. A few more people can't hurt. Open immigration up to the world. Yeah, I want everyone to come here. Yeah. Bring the people. So Ireland has become sort of the the destination of choice for yeah, everyone. Yeah, I've, I've relaxed immigration laws entirely. I bet you that's going to bite me in the ass. I bet you it is. But I'm basically just going to go. I'm just going to keep going the focus of uh, like in like industry for a while, and just see how that goes. And I'll get yep. the, uni the UK stuff when I. Oh, sorry, back to speed three. Sorry, but when I can, because I mean at the at the moment. I would get my uh, my poop pushed in. Yes, I could say. Wait, and, wait until England is at war with um, Germany and maybe Canada, and then it's yeah, easy. Yeah, I'll be right. I mean, it is quite easy to take London as long as you get Marines, because you can attack. As long as, if you just basically take Liverpool, land next to London, and take London, um, and also land in the province next to Glasgow, and you can take Glasgow, Rossith, and Edinburgh. And if you take Liverpool, Manchester, Glasgow, Rossith, Edinburgh. And London, and then I think also Birmingham. I think they'll capitulate. So you don't need much. Just land Marines, and then rush a motorized divisions, and it should be okay. But you know, we'll see. Well, it sounds like you have this all figured out. Yeah, all I need is the actual men. I have like five guys holding sticks currently, and also it's it's currently raining. It is currently raining in Ireland. When is it not? What? The bank was robbed. My bank was just robbed. Are you serious? That's, Seriously? that's an event. I, I I had the Bank of Ireland has been robbed. Lose 25 political power. For serious. Why I, were you storing your political power in the bank? I know. Put that somewhere else. Put it in the town hall or something. Don't put it in mattress. the bank. <laughs> Under your mattress. That's exactly <laughs> Everyone does that, right? Put it in your pocket. Yeah, in your pocket. Store political power in your pocket. Be very heavy. What? I wish I could have robbed your political power. I'm at minus 160. Oh, see, I am actually on positive 161. And I am, I, it's because I have a positive. I don't. You got. You guys have like negative effects. Yep. I have Ian or Duff. Ian or Duffy, <clears throat> which gives me a malice. I think I have no idea who Ian. Oh, he's the head of government. And he's a backroom backstabber. 
Okay. Why about why have I hired him then? I don't want him. <laughs> Fire him. Uh, I don't. Doesn't seem like I can really replace him. Oh, I can. Current ruling party is paternal autocrats. They are. Oh no, they're authoritarian. But there's no one here who's authoritarian. Oh, there we go. And he's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> He is quite literally even worse. <laughs> so maybe one of the reasons why you want to get rid of paternal or uh, the authoritarian democracy is the fact that you only have crap leaders. Fine. Hooray. Oh, wow, the Recruitable leader population is... factor, minus three. Yeah, what the hell? I don't want this asshole. But he, he's putting everybody in the, in the coal mines. Yeah, what the hell? No, I want more people, not less people. What are you doing? You gain 15% 50, resource gain efficiency. I have, it, it, but 15% of three isn't exactly a lot. <laughs> Actually, no, I have 27 so, steel, so that's helpful. That does help. 15% of 27 still isn't it's not, it's exactly not much. huge. Well, it's actually 10%. That's at least a number. It is a number. That's oh, true. British fleet. Oh, God. Okay. How big is the British fleet? Um, I imagine quite large. 147 Maintain neutrality, to ask for protection, or ask the Canadian king for protection. You know what? No. I want. I'm gonna be neutral. Um. Uh. What? So that happened. Okay. They just declare <laughs> war on me instantly. <laughs> it's 29th of August. How is? Excuse it? me, uh, Mr. Hill. Yes. Mr. I seem to recall. Uh, last episode, you said something about. The AI will never be able to invade Ireland. Well, they won't. They haven't landed or anything, but... Let, let's let see how well that theory holds up. I don't have any troops. I don't have any... Oh, I have some troops. I have some equipment. Okay, let me... Maybe I should be training some troops. Maybe you should put some people in your ports. That's a good idea. You sh That's a very good plan. Just oh, my God. How random selection from... Random suggestion from the ducky over here. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do I have any good generals? Uh, I have, can I just give me a second and just kind of plan this here? Yeah, yeah max sure. entrenchment. Let's just do that. Okay. Well, I guess I don't get to import anything. I guess I just die. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, because, oh, you are going to be blocked from, oh, from oh, everyone. I am done professionally. I'll never work that in this potato, again. That potato famine is going to be. That's going to happen again, isn't it? Wait, is that actually an event? Please say it's, <laughs> please say it's not an event. I, oh no, there's more ports here. I can't defend all my ports. Oh my god, I forgot. I didn't realize there was a fourth port. There's a fourth port? I am so boned. How many divisions do you have? Five. Well, no. there are five, four no, ports yeah, and five I, divisions. This this works out just fine. You have one division to spare. Yeah, but... but. <laughs> oh no, no. no god. I, didn't, I just didn't realize that if I didn't cyber some... I, it's All it said is they were moving their fleet as a show of force. It didn't say they were mm -hmm. literally declaring war on me. Like, instantly. What is this? Well, I wanted to see if you had any friends. Turns out I, you didn't. I did not. I should have sided with the Germans. Because then you could have fought for me. That could have been a possibility. What if... The, oh, they don't have paratroopers yet. Wow, they're just putting planes all over me. Our popularity is rising. Oh, that's... Yeah, sure. Why not? Sounds Why not? good. Totally need popularity when I'm being invaded by England. Can I... Can I send... I can send Lendlease. Yeah, but they're gonna get destroyed by the ships. I can't send expeditionary forces because... Must be in the same faction. Yeah. Excuse me? I thought if you were in the same faction, you had to go to war. Oh, yeah, that's the whole point was you, you... What? I think that's a new rule. Yeah, maybe. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I'm pretty sure Germany isn't in a faction with Spain once the Civil War kicks off. No, it isn't. That's weird. <clears throat> so I, I literally just need to spend my, my time just kind of hugging my ports now, don't I? And wait for uh, Canada yep. to invade them. Uh, they're currently going mission to Norway. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Oh, what they're going to they're gonna invite Norway to the, their alliance. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't. You can say a lot of things about Hawk on the uh, the seventh, but he wasn't exactly a syndicalist. <laughs> I'm all done. It's all over. <laughs> it's that's it, man. Get you have this huge, 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 yeah. huge show of force. Yeah, there it is. Focus tree. Yeah. They could have. And, so they uh... can choose between show of force, and then they can go words or war. 
and then mm-hmm. end isolation. And they chose they chose the war. They they did that. Okay. They're just straight up trying to annex me. Well, I'm not gonna let. They're not invading me yet. So you know what? Oh, they're gonna bomb the crap out of me, aren't they? Maybe. Yep, they are bombing the pants off of me. Oh Jesus! Yes, they are, aren't they? Oh my Christ! Oh Lordy! There goes your everything. <laughs> my everything. My literal everything. We're getting some disturbing news reports from Ireland. Apparently, planes are the bomb. I'm gonna build air. I'm gonna build air anti-air, but it's not exactly gonna do. It. Well, I just didn't. I just didn't prepare for this because I didn't expect my entire world would be shattered. I really wish I've gotten dispersed industry now. <laughs> <laughs> Typical human player. Ah, I'm gonna play Ireland. I'm gonna invade England. Ha ah, ha! It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I just didn't Boom. expect that they would just instantly declare war. I mean, I knew it was in their focus tree. I just wasn't aware it would be it would literally beeline it. They did Relax, no I'm other gonna, tree. They did no. They have like a I'm billion. I'm gonna get stomped by Russia any minute. So. But they're gonna declare war on you. Oh, probably. I mean, is this this series gonna end after two episodes? <laughs> they are <laughs> probably bombing the shit out of me. This is awful. I can see your. Air, your your um, airplanes are da- your air bases are damaged. Everything and is I damaged. Can... Like even if I get planes, I'm not gonna be able to put them anywhere. <laughs> oh my god! I'm building an anti-air in Dublin, just to try it. You know, just to try. And are they are they sinking your transport fleets yet? Not yet, but they probably should do that. Uh, I'm there curious are... to see how how smart the AI is about invading you. They have 140 ships in my seas right now, so. Okay. And they still have another Ooh. 90 elsewhere. Yeah, they have hundreds of ships. Wow. I am boned. I'm going to put one extra militia in Dublin, because this tank doesn't... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have this tank be a separate guy. And the militia will hold the line, and the tank will reinforce where needed. Yeah, that's a good plan. Good plan, Aldrio. Good plan. So it seems like you have this all figured out. Totally feel it figured out. This is not a panic. Maybe we need to try and get, like, ancestral ties or something, or literally anything at this point. Can someone help me? Oh my god. I should perhaps have looked up how to play this goddamn country. Um, I am no longer a ducky. What are you, then? I am a Baltic Federation. Cool. Did it do anything? Nope. (laughs) Okay, that's a naval invasion. (laughs) That's a naval invasion. Hi. Hi. They're invading me with hundreds of troops. Where, where, what city are they invading you in? Galway. Oh yeah, there we go. <clears throat> I'm sending my fleet over there for observational purposes. <laughs> Observation. Like in Stellaris, and you're just like, hello, <laughs> looking at me. Okay, I push them back. Yeah. I push them back. Oh yeah. I you was... look like you're in fine. The first Dublin rifles are holding the line in yeah, Galway. They are. We got this. I'm gonna put Daniel McKenna as my urban specialist. My my German tanks will uh, literally just drive across the country and attack anyone who tries to invade us. This is this is tragic. This is just flat out tragic. <laughs> I just I thought there'd be a period of build up, maybe a bit of tit for tat, but no. I have to either side with Germany or Canada. <laughs> Would I be forced to go into a faction if I did that, or would they just, um... I think so, yeah. I don't want to do that. Bloody hell. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a focus that gets me out of the faction once I'm in the faction. Ooh. Um... Okay, we're now keeping an eye on all Irish ports to see what's going on. Yeah, could you... That'd be great. Okay, no, it's okay. They keep attacking me, but I keep repelling them. Go, oh, yeah, it's, it's go. Montgomery. Montgomery is attacking me. Go away, Montgomery. He's going straight for the port, isn't he? He is. But if they, if they didn't, they would die. So. <coughs> I, hope it, I hope so. Oh, they are bombing the pants off of me. <laughs> you should keep your pants on. And I try. The, the bombing, it's, it's just so... It's everywhere. There's death everywhere. Seize the farms and expel the Germans. <laughs> I have a focus that says I can get protection. An access tree with Canada. 
if I wanted to, maybe. Oh, I can go... Oh, no. This is all awful. Maybe the US would help. No. <laughs> the US? Do they have their civil war yet? No. No, but they can't. So I can't... Their civil war has to be over before we can join a faction with them. Oh, if there's a, I do actually have a tree that gives me land forts, though. Oh, and gives me free anti-air. Yes. I should work towards that. Low stability, very low party popularity. Yeah, I'm... Um... I'm aware. <laughs> I see it. Oh, my God. This is just mm. awful. I blame you. And your text Me? and your text messages. What the hell did I do? You didn't warn me. Oh, I'm getting bombed like crazy. <laughs> this is hell. It's okay. Then it doesn't seem like the AI is competent enough to actually invade me. If they just if, if they just attacked me on a non-port province and landed their army, they would be able to push me off. If they did it in Belfast, there's only a militia unit there. Yeah, but they're insisting on attacking the first Dublin Rifles, whom I'm assuming is a fairly competent formation. They're veterans. Yeah, that's the only proper infantry formation you have, isn't it? No, I, my, my other ones are actually Korkoisif divisions. Oh, the only the infantry ones. Yeah, I only have another one is cavalry and militia. Ugh. I love the introdu introduction of militia, by the way. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, agreed. I love everything about this mod. Yeah. I'm, bu I'm building more dudes. I am building more dudes. I don't think the AI is going to be able to invade you. I don't think so either. I'm just going to be blockaded forever. Yeah, I don't see you breaking out anytime soon. Am I losing any people? Am I, are any people dying in these invasions? 37.34. Let's take a look. They just keep attacking me when they have no organization. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I'm really losing many people at all. So that's good. Well then. Well that riveting. <laughs> Bloody English. Oh god, the destruction and death. Oh, I'm going to run out of military factories because they're being destroyed. And you're not going to be able to repair them, are you? No, because everything is burning. Everything is fire, Alex. Okay? It's all just <laughs> fire and pain. <laughs> Fire. My world is pain. Please make it stop. Send help. This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> I need fighters. I need anything and everything, but I have no planes. Look at you with your first corkoise. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I've got I've got extra troops. Yeah, I built a few a few more guys. Uh, I have an, oh unionists are planning an uprising. This is not the time. <laughs> it's exactly the they time. Are, isn't the, it? Okay, seriously, Ulster is actually planning an uprising. The consequences would be grave for the nation. <clears throat> oh wow, they are properly disgruntled populace. Yep, yep, no, yep. Protestant really? units who advocate for closer ties. Yep, they. It does appear that they want to break away. There may be a, new, a civil war, and if that happens, they will join the syndicalists, and I will be, and they will land through there, and then I will die. Son of a bitch. Very, very quickly. I like the fact that the AI was attacking you with a garrison division. Yes, yeah, genius. Like the syndicalists it? aren't really up to snuff. Yeah. I guess I'll just have a little nap and watch my <laughs> Irish people die one by one. The thing is, they could just win this through attrition. Like, just throw wave upon wave of British faces against me, and one by well, one how? Irish people die. Current wars... Look, more, more people you might have, be born, though. You have lost 207 soldiers in this war so far. Oh yeah, I can see that, can't I? And they have lost a thousand... <laughs> they lost one and a half thousand men. Okay. Yeah. Well, so for now, I think you're doing okay. 1.43, 207. Killing 5 to 1. It's pretty good. Well, it's because they're just storming a port and we're just going, no. 
go yeah. away. And they have such a low organization. They're going onto the beach and immediately turning round. It's like Gallipoli all over again. Who's their commander? Yeah. Churchill? Obviously. <laughs> oh, that dank, oh, dank historical reference. Oh. Irish women in the work face. Yes, 2.5% extra population. Thank you, God. <laughs> oh, God. Make it stop. Okay, I think I need to go political questions of the day and start heading towards uniting Ireland because Ulster is a problem. Yep. Should, do you want to increase the speed? Because I'm just sitting here. Sure. I can go five speed. If, five if speed I it is, as long as you don't want me pausing if something cool happens. Yep, no. This one infantry division is seeing hell. I think I might check. Well, this, I think I might check this other guy here. I wouldn't call it seeing hell, considering the, the casualties they've taken. Well, they've lost 252 to their 1.87k. Wow. Okay, that's pretty terrible for them. I mean, the division is what 5,000 men, 10,000 men, 9, something 000, like that. Yeah. So, well, the casualties are getting up there, but yeah. remember, 200 and the 200 and something aren't dead. This. Oh, Irish immigration. Ooh. Oh, hello. The mm. Irish government immigration laws and state of the world a large contribute to the increase in population. Do you want to hear the two options I have? Yep. One, all right, uh, and all places gain between 14,000 and 18,000 manpower. Or, all right, and all provinces gain between seven and 4,000 manpower. <laughs> all right, or all right. I will choose all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think I made the right Seems choice. like a sensible choice. I think I made the right decision. <laughs> I, th I think so too. So I, I, I we applaud your decision. I think I gained manpower, but I can't be sure. Oh, Irish Canadian Treaty. Okay. Um, the approach is the offer of a defense cooperation treaty. They'll guarantee our sovereignty in exchange for military basing rights. Uh, Canadians I, want to be, uh, be your ally. I think it would make sense to say yes, wouldn't it? No, they don't want to be my ally. Ooh. It's a non-aggression pact. And we get the signed treaty. And they will yeah. also help me. So, yeah. Okay. Canada to the rescue. Maybe the Canadians will actually... But they're not, we're not a military alliance, though. Oh, call to arms. Will be. They will accept. Should I do it? Sure. But, I mean, I can't, I can't take advantage. So, all that would happen is that Canada would win. You know? Yeah. But I don't want Canada to win. I want me to. I want me to win. It's a problem. So maybe I should just wait for the English to throw their faces against me again and again, and then when I have Marines, I can. I can just. That invade. is. The manly option, definitely. I think I'll go the manly option. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. United States. Okay, there's a civil war. Okay. There's a civil war. Yep. And look, there's Jack Reed. I was talking about him in the last episode. Combining syndicates. Huey Long in the South, the really cool Louisiana who got assassinated. In real life. Jack Reed has a cool... He is. He's got a very nice hat. Very nice hat. Yeah. The the leader of the American Union State, he looks like a right douche though, doesn't it? He was actually a really good guy. He was a big proponent of um, like open democracy, caring for the lower classes. He was very much a Roosevelt. So what went supporter. wrong? He was assassinated in 1934. No, but what went wrong in this setting to turn him into a... Um... I think in this alternate history, because he was going to be a, he was a presidential candidate and he was assassinated in 34. But because the political situation was so different, he was never assassinated. So I imagine America dissolved into petty political squabbling about their isolationist policies <clears throat> that eventually ended up with... But isn't the Union state, isn't that a fascist thing? No, it's... They are paternal, paternal autocrats. autocrats. Yeah, oh, okay. so it's like, it's, like, it's like not fascism, but it's more like the leader knows what's best, so listen to them. So I guess that is kind of at odds with him. Maybe he changed in those years. Oh, God, I got a big event. Um... Building a relationship established with the Canadian Irish Treaty, the Canadian government is offering a generous aid and development package, and the condition we join the Entente. It is divided on the issue. Welcoming aid and security, but fearing retaliation, should we accept this? So I can join it and use it to stimulate the economy and get extra factories, or I can use it and strengthen the military and get extra factories, or navy and get dockyards, or say, piss off. I don't really want to join the Entente, though. That's pretty Taunt. lame. I don't, you know, I don't want to be part of the Commonwealth. Get out of here. No, we don't need that. <laughs> There's no commonwealth here. There's only uncommonwealth. Yeah, we're not common. Like, no, they're common. That's it. No commoners. Yeah. Oh, I think you might you might be like every now and then you lag behind a little bit. Yep. A syndicalist uprising in Manila. That's to be expected, I suppose. Seems reasonable. Indeed. Um. So should I try and get? Yeah, let's try and get ire on the world stage. <laughs> 
Alright, here we go. Everything's gonna be alright. Oh, there are a lot of wars now, aren't there? Declare their loyalty to the new government, and a socialist republic has been declared. Okay. How exciting! The socialist wow, republic. you have 261 casualties, the Brits now have over 4,000. Wow. Where is Churchill in this? Is Churchill like a... He must be like an admiral. Probably. I haven't seen him. Yeah, he, he maybe he's the commander. <laughs> I mean, he probably would have still gone into politics, wouldn't he? Could be in Canada, though. He could be in Canada, because the government was divided and he wasn't exactly a socialist. I wouldn't call Churchill a socialist, yeah, no. Yeah, not exactly. So maybe he's just part of the government. The market liberals, perhaps. Or maybe yeah, he died. Part of the... Maybe he died in Gallipoli. No, he wasn't in Gallipoli. He was just the guy who organized it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he was actually serving on the front lines. <laughs> not quite. Yeah. Um, I'm. I'm having some more problems. Main power has not changed. Collins. Ad I'm called president, by the way, even though I'm an ter authoritarian. In rapid industrialization by the syndicate. Okay, Collins is always right and gain lots of cool things. These guys are correct and get less good things or the reds might have a good idea and get better production no I, collins is always right everyone support michael collins he is the king of us all i might just make him can i just make michael collins king of ireland <laughs> king collins spelled with a c. c okay winston churchill is a possible minister for the entente liberated britain is he also if Tsarist russia decides to join the entente churchill will be sent to russia as a foreign minister that's awesome I'm building more troops. I have a few more dudes. It's all gonna be okay. I don't worry about it. Oh, I have an anti-air now. I have anti-air. See? It is doing literally nothing. <laughs> I think literally. They're, they're just kind of smelling, like seeing it and going, yep. Yep. What, what doctrine should I go? What do you think? I've got superior firepower, but... That, that was nerfed, remember. But it does, seem, it does seem good, though. Yeah, let's go that. It was nerfed, though. <clears throat> it, was, it was sort of the default option for anyone not going mobility before. Yeah. Uh, I think it still is, unless you have tons of manpower. I, I, I do not. I have 144,000, actually, but... I have 9,617. I have two. Two men. Their names are Jim and Jacob. <laughs> and they will do the best they can. Actually, and the other one is Michael Collins himself. He is the president. <laughs> it's, and it's just his hat. Castile. Oh, ooh, Spain. I have yet to see this, actually. Mm. Bourbons and Javier Bourbon Palmer. That's interesting. Oh, and another one. Okay. Yep, it's a three way battle. Baby. They are just continuing to throw themselves. They are over 6k now. Nice. Oh, Iberica. Yep. Foundation of the Belgrade Pack. Okay. The Balkans, like another bloody one. Oh, the Spanish Civil War. Cool volunteers recruitment being. No, I'm not sending them anything. <laughs> Go away. Korea has declared war in Japan. Oh my god, this world is kicking off. <laughs> There are so many wars right now. Everyone seems to be very upset with each other. I'm very sorry. cross. Yeah, I'm sorry, Korea. It doesn't look like you're going to really win that war. Oh, go away. <clears throat> you're not going to be able to penetrate my thick defensive line of Irish people. Come able to penetrate. Yeah. I wonder if I should play some Ireland on my own just to try and understand what the hell goes on. <laughs> I think I think you do have well, three options. Join Canada, join England, or die. <laughs> I chose the die well, option. I don't see you dying anytime soon, though. That's, that's the interesting bit. I'm going to just build okay. Marines and see what happens. And if yeah, I, the if, problem is... How do I get uh, naval superiority? Yeah, how, how the hell do you get out of this? And you, I think you're going to have to wait for England to be drawn into some other war. Yeah, and then just sneak in. Yeah. I'll give it a go. I'll build five marines and see what I can do. Land in Liverpool. The end of American end democracy. Of democracy. Wow. Wow. Oh, Junta they have the coup. Wow. Yeah. President MacArthur. Yeah, president. That, that, was, that was to be expected. <laughs> oh, look at that picture. 
Oh, baby. <laughs> MacArthur, my man. That pipe, though. Oh, and New Safe. England's broken out. Baxter. Yep. Spout New England out as well. It's part of the Entente. Yep. So they... Canada liberated New England, just like I did, but... They didn't They didn't immediately start playing them, like you. <laughs> oh, we don't know that, do we? I like Maybe how New York... Actually... I like how New York State is separate from New York. That's interesting. Is it? Yeah. So New yeah, England wow. is the state of New York, but not New York. That's weird. <laughs> uh, I think this might be a point with uh, a cut. Yep, it is. Yep. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, remember to leave likes and dislikes and all that good stuff in the comment section down below. Tell us how much we suck and how great we are. And remember, if you've been watching my perspective, go over and watch Aldo Hill's perspective too. He likes the views, as do I. And if you're watching his perspective, Shameless. then... Uh, <laughs> of course, you have to watch mine as well. So, exactly. uh, you want to say anything to the to the good people of the internets? Um, oh my God! Why? Oh God! Why? That's there what I would go. say. Thank you for watching. Bye. Guys. Bye. <laughs>